So what have I been up to this past week? Stop that. I am driving downtown to the Marriott Hotel because they have a, a check for me to collect for images I did that may be used internationally in publications and whatnot. So I'm driving down here to collect that and it is a ghost town down here. I mean, if you've never been to New Orleans, there's usually always foot traffic, people working. This is, this is odd. Now, now granted, we did just have the hurricane doodad. So that's the Harris Hotel. And this whole area is always packed with people because so many people work down here, you know? So this is uh, odd for me, honestly. Look at this. Look, ain't nobody down here, man. Nobody. Closed, not even open. So many restaurants, like big name restaurants, have been closed because they, they have no way of staying open because of this COVID thing and the restrictions. And we desperately, desperately need the next phase to happen. Phase three needs to happen soon. Um, I, I don't know what else to say, man. This is just very, very odd. Look. There's a lot of construction going on down there because they have that um, Hard Rock Hotel that collapsed on people. They're finally getting around to doing something about that. I just realized that you guys saw my other sunglasses that the arm broke and I haven't fixed it yet. So uh, let me put on some better looking shades. <laughs> so while I'm down here, I need a new black fedora hat that's worthy of working like a job um all my hats have been destroyed with the heat and the sweat and uh i'm i'm due for something new so the guy that brought me my check um they're slammed they're busy and i'm like man this is this this is good i'm thinking a, a group came in town or something no these were the people who evacuated from hurricane laura in lake charles they uh came to the hotels and the state is paying for their stay which is fantastic but not the kind of news I was kind of hoping for I can't even stop by and see any of my friends in certain businesses because everybody's closed like reception hall people they're closed they're not even open apparently a lot of evacuees down here so there's a lot of cars and I had to park a couple blocks away to go to Meyer the Hatter where I get my hats cool
place right there. I like that black one. Let's see how much that is. Considering this guy, that black one in the window, I like a lot. But it's $140. It's a little more than I wanted to spend today. All right. I got me two hats. A Bailey. And I forget the other one. But they're very nice hats. And, uh, yeah. My day is now good. That's yeah, something you don't see every day. It's a food truck. That's a mobile espresso bar truck. Shooting a movie. Alright, well a little addition to uh, this vlog due to the hurricane and my daughter is in college four hours away and uh, the city she's in of Natchitoches lost power and Clico, who is their energy person company thingy hasn't gotten it up and running yet and uh, the school's closed for like almost a week so I'm driving four hours to come get her and bring her home and enjoy her for a little while because we do miss her and uh, this is the lovely area of Mackinac figure out how to get to her dorm again. <laughs> There's the stadium. So one of my favorite, let me pull over real quick. One of my favorite things about Julia coming to Northwestern State is um, they're called the Demons. That's an interesting mascot for a college, okay. But the awesome part is, you know, if you know me, if you've been watching me for a little while, I'm a rock, I'm a rock guy, I'm a rock and roll drummer. You know, I love all music, but rock is my favorite. And of course, in everything that I do in life, that's me, rock and roll style. Ironically, this school says, fork em. <laughs> How awesome is that my daughter is gonna live the tradition of the rock anthem. <laughs> I love it. I just do. It's the first time I've seen Julia since she came to college. We moved her in. <laughs> oh my girl. Mm -hmm. Julia's in town. I made steak and mashed potatoes last night. 
unbelievable, man. That filet was delicioso. I was a diamond in the Any way you can send some prayers their way, or I could even tell you if there's a relief fund set up somewhere, but you know, take your normal everyday life, don't take it for granted because it can change like that. I was a diamond in the So look, last week made 15 years since Hurricane Katrina that totally demolished and devastated New Orleans. Hurricane Laura that just hit a couple of clicks to the left of us on the map over by Lake Charles and all, serious damage, serious damage. The crazy thing is if that would have hit us, it would have been 15 years of Katrina with the same kind of storm. That's crazy. How much more can 2020 give us? I, I don't I don't I don't want to know. I do not want to know. Um anyway, this is my day in the life of uh, this past week. It has a lot going on as you can see. And uh right now I need to go cook dinner for the family. It's gonna be good again. But I got more videos coming for you this week alone. I have a lot more to share with you. But um, stay focused on your dreams. I know that's hard. I know a lot of us are going through some of the toughest times in our life right now. But this is where you grow. This is where you show yourself your determination to not be where you are right now and make a change. So if you're in that mindset of making a change, just want to let you know, all of us here on Focus with GK are on the same page. And we root for you, we support you, we applaud you for your efforts. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to show you what I do along the way, and hopefully I inspire you to do something of the same. All right? All right, you guys, I got to go. Stay focused on your dreams. I will see you in the next time.